Evelyn, and welcome back to my channel, and today I'm coming at you with a new video of, of popular books I haven't read, and popular books I will never read. I, I never say never, ha ha ha, get that? Justin Bieber, hate him, sorry, sorry, just had to say that, I don't know why, sorry. Um, but I never say never to reading books, but there's some books I just know I will never read. I, I'm not sure why, personally, um, they just, they're just not me, and... Yeah, I'm just going to get started with the books I'm never going to read first. So, yeah. It's going to be a lot of judgment right now. A lot. Harry Potter. I have not read Harry Potter. At all. Not, none of the books. I watched, like, the first three movies, and then when I was, like, in the third grade, I think I picked up the fifth book for some reason. I don't even know. Like, it didn't even make sense what I was doing, okay? I don't know. I don't think... I just don't think they're me personally. The books don't don't seem like they fit my personality. So many people have told me to read them, you'll like them, but I don't know. I just don't think so. I, I don't think so. So yeah, I'm sorry all you Harry Potter lovers, which is basically like everyone on booktube. Yeah. Shh, shh. Okay. And sorry, sorry. 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 Let's get on with the next one that I'm never going to read and also haven't read. Lord of the Rings. Um, sorry about that too, all you Lord of the Rings lovers, but not gonna read it. Uh, like, watch how many, I don't even know how many books there are, okay? And I also don't know even how many movies there are. I watched like the first movie and half the second movie. I don't know how many there are, but I have no interest whatsoever in reading it. I, I just, I just can't, guys. It's again like Harry Potter, it's not me. Now let's go on to the books I actually have, and if I have them, that means I probably, in some time, will read them. Just haven't got to, gotten to them yet, which is quite embarrassing. So let's start off. I, I was contemplating on putting these two books in, but I was like, might as well because everyone, a lot of people talk about them on book two. First is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. This is like apparently so relatable to all like booktuber people, fangirl fanboys, because. It revolves around a fangirl, and I haven't read it yet. I read like the first page because I was bored one night. I'm trying to get out of my ring slump still. Have, finding Audrey didn't work. It, it worked for like one day, and then I'm still in a ring slump. But anywho, yeah, I, I, I'm going to read this. Don't get me wrong, I will read this. I just haven't gotten to it yet. So yeah, sorry. But next is An Ember in the Ashes by Sabata here. As I said, I was contemplating on where you're putting this book in, but it got a lot of hype on booktube and a lot of people read it and loved it. And Marie Lu, one of my favorite authors, who wrote the Legend Trilogy, you can't see it, she's amazing, go read the Legend Trilogy, uh, she wrote a review on this, so I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm so gonna read this, Marie Lu wrote about it, I'm gonna, gonna read it, yeah, yeah, so, I haven't read it yet, I've read it. actually I did read like, 40 pages, and I put it down because I started reading City of Heavenly Fire. I was waiting to get City of Heavenly Fire, and then I picked this up while I was waiting, and then, you know, I got City of Heavenly Fire, and plans changed from there. So, yeah, I'm going to mention these two books at once, these next two. They're both by Rick Riordan. Haven't read any Rick Riordan books. Oh, oh here we go. I haven't read any of the Percy Jackson books, and... Let's just talk about the Kane Chronicles for a second. I feel like a lot of people don't talk about the Kane Con Chronicles, but do talk about Percy Jackson all the time. Is there is there a reason for that? Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But, like, I, I don't know if you can see, but you see this little mark here? That little line? Right here. Right here? Yeah. Um, that's when I, where I stopped reading the book, so that's like around page, almost, almost page 200. So, I, I did start reading this. I stopped. I read, I started reading this like when I was, I put this down like, I don't even know, sec, third grade, the second grade? Don't even know, actually. But yeah, I haven't read any Rick Riordan books or haven't finished any. I, that, that's, that's, that's a big one. This is an embarrassing one too. So, yeah, I, I promise you I will get onto them. Yeah, I, I, I sorry. This is so embarrassing, this video. I'm not even kidding. Next is Cinder by Marissa Meyer or any of the Lunar Chronicle books. Yeah, I know winter is coming out in 
winter. <laughs> but um, I don't know if I will finish all these books by then. I want to, but my TBR is big, guys. I, ca I can't marathon series when my TBR is filled with a, a billion other books. It's hard. It's hard. It's really hard. But, yeah. I've heard a lot of good things about this book, like a lot of good things. I've heard few bad things, and I'm excited. I do like fairy tale retellings. I do like them. And ooh, this book has big lettering. I didn't notice that. That that's random. Okay, whatever. But I I do, and the cover's pretty, so I will read it. I will. All these books I will read. I promise you. I just I haven't gone to them yet because I've been very distracted. I I can't make up a better excuse. I'm sorry. But last, this is out of this pile. This is probably one of the most embarrassing other than the Rick Riordan. Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. Oh my god. I read A Court of the Roses when it first came out. So I was on that bandwagon right there. But never got on the Throne of Glass bandwagon. Yeah. What can I do? I, I, I actually want to start reading this right away. I'm going to actually start reading this right away because I'm trying different books to get out of my ring slump, as I said before. So this will be one of them soon. Maybe by the time, like in a week or two, this book will be done. And I won't have the shame of have not read this book yet. But then again, that might not happen. So, yeah, I've heard so many good things about this book. I don't think I've heard any bad stuff about this book so far. I don't think I have of people I watch. I don't think I have, so I'm ex I'm super duper excited to read this book. It sounds like something I will like, and yeah. See, I'm so speechless in this video because what is there to say? I haven't read some popular books. That's quite embarrassing. Yeah, it's it's okay. It's actually not okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell me what popular books you haven't read. Don't worry, we'll share the pain of not jumping on that bandwagon when we were told to. It's okay. It's better late than never. Am I right? Better late than never to jump on the Throne of Glass bandwagon. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just so ashamed right now. I just like so many popular books, but you know, whatever. So comment down below what popular books you haven't read yet and we'll share our grief together. It's okay. It's a, I will not judge you. It's okay. Unless you have not read the Infernal Devices, then I will judge you. <laughs> but, yeah. So, thank you all so, so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!